All right, it's Alex back here with Mechatex, and today I'm going to show you guys how to put together the Zoomy by Robolink. And all right, so currently on the box, I'm going to go over this first. So it's um. It's a artificial intelligence, um, somewhat car robot. So the first thing on the box, as you see, it's Robolink, the car um, that learns as you learn. And right here, saying it's by Robolink. This is the name of it. That's what it looks like. There, the other side. And then here. So it's code AI. AI can help to make us more efficient. That's just it. So it, it somewhat teaches us about self -dri driving cars, which is AI and cars um, explore using the fundamentals of AI and robotics. You can have the car explore the world and become more and more familiar with the world we live in. And, uh, um, so on this side, it's learn about AI, train her to become smarter, and code to navigate. This side, it just tells you this top box is shell, motors, and wheels. Um, this one is the chassis, which is the thing that you mount everything to. Um, the battery and the zoomy board, along with mounting bracket for the um, Pi Cam, which is labeled as etc. And then we have the Pi Zero to access the Pi Cam. USB cable to charge the battery and screwdriver to put everything together. And then the fasteners, all the screws, things like that. So, all right, so here's the first box, which as we said before, has the chassis, not the chassis, but the um, shell the motors and the wheels. So for now, just cover that back. Set that over there. Here is the colors, which will be in, which we'll have to do with coating. Um, adhesive to uh, extras to just add extra things onto it. That's what I'm trying to say. So that this we can set onto the side, but here is the manual. Tells you parts list. So it comes with a mic. Let me turn that around for you guys. So it comes with the Pi Zero, which has the micro SD card preset, um, the zoomy board, the Pi camera, as I was telling you guys about, and the two motors, two wheels, OLED, OLED screen, which makes up the eyes, the face pretty much, um, the battery, which is used to power it, structural components, it's the chassis, um, mounting bracket, and then the zoomy shell. And on here we have fasteners. I won't go all over go over all of them. Um, except for this. This there's only two. Every other one of these parts right here gives you at least one or two a extra. Um, but this is the only thing that they just give you two. So you don't so for sure you don't want to lose the velcro pads. And then we have jumper wire and heat sink. And then for now, I'll set this off to the side so I can show you everything else. Here is the 
zooming board. As you can see, um, these are lights to go on the bottom. These are sensors, the black, um, let's set that back in there. And then this is the chassis where we mount the motors and everything else on. The Pi cam mount, the two screw holes, and then this is for the OLED screen. Um, screen. And then of course the battery, which I'll take out right now. And then we move on to the fun tiny parts. All the screws, fasteners, and things like that. I'll go ahead and open this and take everything out. So just set it off to the side. Here is the Pi Zero, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the Pi Zero. As it says right here, Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, fasteners that says on this box too. And then here it is. OLED screen screen is in here. Pi camera is in here. Um the Pi Cam ribbon cable, which is this. That's to connect the Pi Cam to the Pi Zero and the jumper wire to connect the OLED screen. Now here we have the screwdriver and micro USB cable. So this we can sit down here. And then we can get started. So all right, so here we have the manual. So let's go ahead and get the chassis and also the motors, multiple circuits. And then we want to look through the fasteners, which are the screws and all that. And If you can see good enough, it says you, for this step, you need chassis, the two motors, and then four motor screws. Because if you look here, there are two motor screw mount holes on each of these motors. See through it. Um, then, these out. Set them right here so I don't lose track of them. So, first step you want to take, let me find the motor mount screws, motor screws. I mean, that's a great one. Okay, so you want to get Four of them out. We'll set them upside down so we don't lose them. Unless we have to get a screwdriver out, which we're gonna need. And there are no things that you need to put. There is nothing else that you need to put it together. Um, additionally, so it would. What I'm saying in that is that. Uh, every part that you need comes with it. So um, you want to take the motors, make sure that you don't have the sticker facing up, you have it the black part facing up, and you put them on like so with the um, wire towards the back, like in the back is the side with the set of two, like this, and the front is the one that has the four so that the um, zooming board can go in. So then we go like this. And screw it in. 
going to first get them both in there. Um, then start tightening them. And you want to make sure that you don't tighten them too much because then the one the what I'm saying is this part right here will pretty much become stripped the hole if you tighten it too much. And then you want to put in the other side. Start the screws. And then make sure it's nice. Hey. Not too tight as I was saying before. So now, next page, you want to get the long socket standoffs, which are just pretty much stands to mount the boards on. So they give you four, one extra in case you lose one. Um, so it says you want three thick silver bolts. Here are, here is the pack of the thick silver bolts. And then, just want to get out. Three. I don't need this up, so I don't know sure. All right, so now you flip it upside down. Um, so this hole that is closer to the, on the front, closer to the, farther away from the motors, if you look at it like this, so there's two holes. Um, obviously, one of them that I have the screw in. Then, as you can see, the one right there, you want that one empty because that'll be used later, I'm pretty sure. And then these ones, you want to put them on the outside hole right here, closer to the edge. And then you screw these on. And then um, we will get the battery out do this. Okay. So the battery is labeled top for obvious reason. So um, on the bottom, it has a bunch of things that are no, that won't focus, but what it says is Read and follow all precautions. Never leave batteries unattended while charging for obvious reasons. If you've used lithium polymer or LiPo batteries before, um, may explode if damaged or disposed of in fire. Um, do not puncture because you don't want to poke through here and connect it with any type of metal or anything really. And then this is something I didn't notice earlier, but it says do not use with red zoomy board, which we don't have that one here. We don't have it at all, in fact. Um, and to only use it with the black zoomy board. So you just take Velcro and 
take off the little protective. Um, put it on here. Close to the middle of the pen. And then you get it off on the other side. This is pretty hard when, I, when you don't have nails. But like so. All right, so on here it says towards front. The front is right here. Um, so you do like this. And then like so. And then there you go. It's on here. And that's good to go. So now, set that to the side. We take this out. So that there. Um, let me find them. Short plugs. All right, so um, you get, it says two short plugs, but you get three. Again, one extra. We'll set that off to the side right there. And so these, let me check to make sure I do it right. Um, we went up. Here, um, it's going to go on here like this, and then one right there. Um, but for this, we need thin silver bolts right here. It says you get six, but you get eight. I'm pretty sure, yeah, eight. Two, two extras because, with, as with everything else, in the very beginning, I said you get at least one for one extra for each thing. So we want this, we want the screw right here. If you can see it right there. So you want one screw right there, then you do like so. Nice and snug. And then on the other side, the same thing. It's right here. If you see it, and then I'll show you on the bottom right there, and then you just screw this on, like so. And then, now we go on to the next page, which is gonna be connecting motor wires. So these two, um, of course, you want to put it on right. So you connect um, left wire to the left, which that right there says left, and then that right there says right. You might not be able to read it, but what it says. So there's only one way to put these in right and it's pretty easy to find that. You just find the two tiny holes, the two head, um, connectors, and then you just do like so. Again, you don't want them reverse so you so and it's also pretty hard to take them out if you do mess up. There's even more motivation to do it right the first time. And then you do like so, not this right here. Um, and then we want to that's in there, good. And then if you do it right, the hole should line up. Well, if you did it right, the hole should line up. Page. So we get two long standoff plugs. And then, as with everything else, we get one extra. So then, with these, you take them to the sides, like so. Screw in. And Probably will come up a bit. 
and then screw them in. And yep, that's lined up. So now we have this nearly complete. Um, let's see, so mounting bracket. That is this piece. And then you look closely here. You can see where it lines up with the peg. And then just take this, line up the uh, this back hole with that. Um, what does it says to get to get? Oh, okay. So we want one thick silver bolt. To mount the mounting bracket. Get this. So again, we take this, this in here, line them up. And Mount the, of course, you want it to be lined up. Mount the mounting bracket. Correctly, so now we want the high cam, which is in this box. While we're in this box, I'm going to show you. So, this is the jumper cable. There, um, the OLED screen, screen, I mean in here you might not be able to see it but it's in there and then here is the raspberry pi cam like so and then you want it it's better to just carry the bag like this because so there's this little film on the actual camera you're going to take that off yes that'll mess up that will mess with this. So, all right. So now let's get that box out of the way, and then um, we have the Pi Cam, which is right here, and we just take it. If you can read the screen. So you need two mounting screws, which are right here, two mounting bolts. And these ones are super tiny, so I think they give you Still too much yard, it's like more, but they probably have trouble seeing them right there, but that's the two. And then you want this mounted on the middle, the middle of the Pi camera, the two screw holes. So this is the hard part, getting the bolts in them. So I want to get that in there. Okay. And then also the other one. It's easier to get the 
in the null screw holes first before you do this. So kind of get them lined up. We got that back out. Battery back on. All right, so now let's see if we can get the screw back in. Let's try not to lose the battery. Hard to do. And then, if you look closely, tip make sure you're attaching through the middle two holes of the Pi camera and of the pie cam to the bottom two of the holes of the mounting bracket. And also, let's see. Here. Nice and tight in there. All right, so now let's make sure that now this you don't want to do it too tight. All right, so that's good. Um, got two mounting bolts in. All right, so attach the heat sink to the Pi Zero. That's the Raspberry Pi Zero is in here. Let's see. And then it comes with the heat sink in the little box bag thing right here. This is the heat sink. Okay, so um, here's the board. It comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card. And then, so first, before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to do this get the heat sink out of the bag, um, undo this, and then just put it on here, like so. On the next, sure, it doesn't seem like it will come off. All right, so now we take the board, and you can see what I'm doing here.
Alright, so now I'm just going to put this inside. Alright, so there's this little bit right here that you want to do. Again, this is hard to do without fingernails. And that unlocks it so that way you can do this. So, Hmm. All right, so we just do like so. And be careful when doing this, and then you just lock it back in by just pushing this in. And that locks it. So then you take this, and then... Uh, these two small parts that we did earlier should, if you did it right, as I was saying before, go in the front. Again, that's if you were doing it right. So luckily I did, and I hope and hopefully you guys did. And then you see they went in through these holes right here, which is how it's supposed to be. And then um, two short socket standoffs. And okay, we'll put, as I was doing earlier, just put the extra over there and then screw it on here. And where is it? Oh, right there. And here. This over. Alrighty. So now it's on to the OLED board, which you find it right here. All right, so get it out of the bag. This is very complicated. There's a bunch of tiny pins, and you definitely don't want to mess that up. So there's these four pins right here, which connect to this. All right, so on here, we want to check this. So this will be on here like so. And what we want to do is see, so it goes, if we go like this, black is all the way on that side. So for me to my front and then like so. And then you want, what can I do? Two mounting bolts again. Let's get those out right here. It's going to be the same type of screw we used for the um, the uh, Raspberry Pi cam, the tiny, tiny ones. Like so, and then hopefully get those and get it started first the first one and then you can do the second one and then finish both and then of course it'll be at somewhat of an angle because the actual part of the bracket itself that you put it in is at an angle, so like so, and then, um, so 
now we flip it around. And so it goes black to the back, green to the front. And then from there, they are all order up and just plug it in right here on this side. And then, so from here, you just want to make sure that that's not in the way. Um, let's see. So attach the shell, which is this. And to attach it, you just go here, open up the back. Okay, so that's good. And then, so, uh, wait, first, I'm pretty sure we want to. Um, no, never mind. We don't plug this in, but you don't want to lose track of this. So, yeah, you don't want to lose track of this because so that's towards front. So just get this on here. The wheels and everything should line up. Um, that is there. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you want to line those up. So now all you need is two thick silver bolts. Which go to the back of it. And then those thin silver bolts and they go in front. Not good enough. All right, so you just Nice and snug. Let's get on the other side. Like so. All right, so Yeah, but the battery that was on here somehow is messed up. 
and the connector is not in the back, but instead the front. But yeah, on other batteries, it should be fine for it should be the right way. But this one, all right. All right so now you get the two wheels. Put them on the motors. And then get two remote motor screws. It can really just screw it in until it starts moving the wheel as you turn it. And then on the other side, too. And yeah, that's it. Normally, you would put the switch um, to the off position, switch to the left. Yeah, left, and then that's off. So then you would plug in the battery, and then you would turn it on, and that's it for how to um, put it together. Um, this is Alex from Mexhex, and I'll see you next time.